Well, your dream, Dave, led you to this Raw. No, my dream led me to uh, watching uh, Dominion. Well, yeah. Except you didn't get to watch the main event, but you did get to watch the main event yeah. of Raw. <laughs> the main event of Raw? Oh, good God. You know, I watch it twice. No. That's how, that's how much of a masochist I am. What did you do that for? Um, Because I was... I, I Why? Because it was history? One of the worst things you ever saw in Raw? No, because I couldn't believe it the first time, and I wanted to make sure that I like had this thing freaking embedded in my brain because it's like one of those things where I'm going to always remember this one <laughs> because this was really, this was just, it's whacked. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But, uh, man, it was, uh, you know, especially for Shayna. I mean, you know, it's I've, I've said people like, you know, I mean, think about this. She's she's trained by Billy Robinson and Josh Barnett, okay? And I mean every whatever it is, every couple months she would be sitting whatever it is, one, two, three, four, maybe seven seats away from me at PWG, and she would sit there and she would study mentally like everybody's cheering and booing and Jessamine Duke was with her would be cheering and booing and Shayna was studying this woman wanted to be a re pro wrestling star really bad and you know there was a lot of reasons why it may not have happened and there were but but it was the right time in the right place and Ronda got in and and uh she made it you know she got there and it's like that was her dream and uh i don't know you know if, if the dream took her somewhere else but that dream took her somewhere <laughs> dream took her somewhere else i guess because i am i you know what can you say what can you say about that it was of all the people we knew it was going to happen i mean we've seen this for a month building to this and man what do you say naya tries to warn shana that and i quote this is the most unpredictable and dangerous I have ever seen Alexa Bliss. I was like, what is she talking about? She hasn't wrestled a match in months. She sits on a swing set and she talks to a doll. Yeah, but... She what are we bitch. worried about here? We're worried about freaking fireballs and explosions and, and people laughing on TV screens. Well, I know that they finished the show with Alexa's Playground and Alexa is in the ring on a swing set. And Shayna starts coming to the ring, and all three announcers, all three grown men at the announce table have to say, I don't feel comfortable with this. I'm very worried about Shayna Baszler. They should be worried about themselves. I'm like, my God, you've got to be kidding me. So they get in the ring, and Alexa wants Baszler to say she's sorry to the doll. And Baszler says, you're out of your mind. And she wants to remind uh, her of what happened to Reginald last week, and... She's upset about Alexa costing her the tag titles, and Alexa laughs and says it wasn't me. And then she gets serious and says, no, you've really got to apologize to this doll. So I swear to God, they do this pro wrestling trope where Baszler takes the doll and she goes, I'm sorry, Lily. I'm sorry you're just a stupid doll. And she throws the doll on the ground and Bliss punches her, and Shayna throws her out of the ring, and then she stomps on the doll. They have to show you like 50 camera angles of her foot on this doll. And then she gets out of the ring, and Pyro starts going off, and Shayna has to be scared of this fire. And then Shayna runs backstage, and apparently, somehow Alexa's caused every wrestler in the building to vanish. There's nobody backstage. And Shayna goes through the curtain, and... This big thing falls from the ceiling, this box, and then this pillar thing falls over, and Shayna's got to be all scared and go, oh, it's just a stupid doll, it's just a stupid doll. And she runs backstage into this room, and they rip off one of the dumbest angles ever in World Championship Wrestling. The ultimate Shana warrior. Shayna looks in the mirror, and she sees the doll. And we see the doll, by the way, as well. But then she turns around, and the doll's not there. So we're also crazy, apparently. And then, of course, the doll's in the mirror again. And then the lights go out, and Shayna, Shayna Baszler, the, the queen of spades, 
screams in terror, and the show goes off the air. So it's dark out. They're going to kill this women's division. Do you remember the women's uh, evolution or revolution or whatever it was? I remember both of them. And these women were supposed to get this big chance. And they were going to go out there and they were going to be wrestlers. And it wasn't going to have. It wasn't going to be women whose uh, promo is that they're the hottest woman in the company. Actually, I and, just saw that promo on Friday. I know. Isn't that funny? And then the other woman who's like her whole gimmick is that she's hot. And, uh, and now we've got this other woman who's pretending that she's a 12-year-old and she's doing voodoo and magic single-handedly killing this women's division. That's where we are right now, uh, five years after the women's evolution kicked off. Yeah, well, that's that's creative writing for you. Dude, this sucked. This absolutely sucked. I, I think for the women's division, it's quite sad, yes. Um, but, you know, it's like you sign up for WWE and uh, you're... That's what you get, you know, because if you just... It is hard to feel pity because this is what you sign up for. Yeah. It's not like this came out of nowhere. No, they've been doing it for, for decades. Well, there you go, everybody. That's a raw report. Don't watch uh, the end or the beginning. There's a few good things in the middle, but uh, definitely turn it off before the end. Or watch it. I guess it doesn't matter. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.